Hey guys! Today we'll be covering a 2020 romance film called Are We In Love? The movie begins with a young woman named So Young who is cycling back home in a hurry. When she reaches home, her mother's caretaker complains to her that her mother is making a mess of the house. So Young's mother is revealed to be suffering from Alzheimer's disease. Later, she hurries to her workplace, a restaurant, but is still late. This angers her boss, Si Young Jae, and he chastises her for failing to fulfill her responsibilities. After work, So Young decides to work overtime to prepare the ingredients for the next day while her colleagues leave. While working alone, she hears a loud thunderclap and notices an elderly woman in the restaurant. So Young approaches the woman and notices that her clothes are wet, despite the fact that it's not raining. The woman asks if she can stay at the restaurant for a while, to which So Young agrees as she has to work anyway. She also offers some food to the elderly woman before returning back to work. A few moments later, when So Young returns, she discovers that the woman is already gone. However, she has left behind a book titled Are You In Love? with a note stating that she's lending it to So Young so that she can use it. On one of the pages, it is written that the book will answer any question about love. As a result, So Young rests her hand on the book and wonders if she will ever fall in love. She then turns the page and reads that several people will propose to her soon. Shortly after, Si Young Jae returns to the restaurant to retrieve his belongings. However, when he notices So Young reading, he chastises her for using the restaurant's electricity. After the scolding, he offers her a ride back home, stating that he cannot afford to pay the compensation if anything happens to her along the way. He then drops her near her house and leaves before she can thank him. As she walks home, a man from her neighborhood approaches her and asks if she has a boyfriend. He also asks for her phone number, but So Young declines. Upon reaching home, her mother's caretaker requests to leave, claiming that her life is becoming hectic. But when So Young makes an innocent face, she decides to stay. The next day on her way to work, So Young is approached by a random guy who asks her for her phone number, claiming to have fallen for her. Once again, So Young is puzzled and simply walks to the restaurant. There, she runs into Si Young Jae's partner, Anna, who advises her to wear fancy clothes in order to attract men. Soon after, Si Young Jae arrives and Anna greets him with a hug. For some reason, this makes So Young envious and she goes inside and lashes out at the flower. When one of her co-workers, Kiaya, comments on her frustration, she hands him the roller and instructs him to roll the dough. A little while later, a customer approaches So Young and asks her out on a date in front of her co-workers. Si Young Jae also notices this, but he doesn't react. The customer hands her his business card and promises to return in a week. Following this, her colleagues think that the customer is a con artist because they don't find So Young attractive. So Young shares that she has recently received several proposals, but her co-workers still don't believe her. Later, Si Young Jae tastes a cake that So Jung baked for dessert, but he spits it out because it's bitter. He also chastises her for focusing more on Ben's proposals rather than her work. The same night, So Young places her hand on the book and asks if the proposals were real, to which the book responds that they were true. The book also mentions, when the darkness clears, the truth will reveal itself. The next day, So Young bakes some cakes and takes them to Si Young Jae, but when she discovers he is with Anna, she returns back upset. The same evening, the restaurant team hangs out at a bar, where So Young and a colleague named Byung Oh get drunk. In an inebriated state, she reveals that she likes a guy, but he already has a partner. A few moments later, another guy asks her out, but she declines, saying that she has someone else on her mind. Following this, Kiayak takes Bi Young Oh home, whereas Si Young Jae drives So Young. In the car, she grabs Si Young's picture and begs for it. The next morning, So Young awakens holding Si Young Jae's photograph. Her mother's caretaker informs her that her boss dropped her home, causing her to feel embarrassed. So Young then rushes to get ready for work, but before departing, the caretaker presents her with a cake made by So Young's mother. Upon tasting it, she enjoys it, so she tries the same recipe at work. To her surprise, Si Young Jae likes it and asks her to serve it to the customers. After a while, a man arrives with the coffee bean that Si Young Jae had requested. So Young accepts it and transports it to Si Young Jae's cabin. Before entering the cabin, she overhears Si Young Jae and Anna's ongoing arguments. Anna's sudden decision to fly to the United States for her studies has enraged Si Young Jae. After work, Si Young Jae offers So Young a ride home, but she declines because of the previous night's incident. Regardless, Si Young Jae loads her bicycle into his car and tells her to get in. As So Young is about to enter the car, Anna walks up and takes the passenger seat. Si Young Jae tells her to get out of the car, but the latter insists on completing their unfinished conversation. Seeing them fight, So Young tells them to calm down as they love each other. She then walks back home, leaving her bicycle in the car. 
However, after walking for a while, she becomes tired and misses her bicycle. On her way, she notices Seong Jae's car parked in front of a bar where he is drinking with Anna. Following this, So Young attempts to open the car's door to retrieve the bicycle, but triggers the alarm, prompting her to flee. Later, around midnight, So Young hears the doorbell, and when she answers it, she finds a drunk Seong Jae being escorted by a driver. The driver requests payment, but Seong Jae doesn't have any cash, forcing So Young to pay. After the driver departs, Si Young Jae invites her to go on a date with him instead of the other men. Hearing this, So Young becomes enraged because she believes he asked her out because Anna is flying to the US. She then closes the door on him and walks back inside. The next morning, she discovers her bicycle with advertising papers in the basket. After going through it, she throws the papers in the trash and heads to her work. On her way, she notices the guy who had asked her out hitting on another girl. Upon reaching the restaurant, she finds Kiayuk and Bong Ho eating the limited edition cake that she made that day. They assume that the cake was made for them because they saw their boss eating it. This infuriates her. She goes upstairs only to find Seong Jae eating the same cake with Anna. When Anna notices her, she requests another slice of the same cake, but So Young vehemently refuses and walks away. When she walks downstairs, Kiaya can be young who obstruct her path, but she manages to get past them, only to find the customer who proposed to her with another girl. That evening, So Young leaves work early to take her mother to the hospital. Later that night, So Young returns home and discovers the same neighborhood guy outside her house. Soon after, another man arrives and they both confront So Young about throwing away their advertisement papers. They then force her to buy their products, but at the same time, Si Young Jae arrives and fights with them. Seeing this, So Young immediately calls the police who arrest the two men. After the incident, Si Young Jae forbids her from returning home alone at night. He also brings up the previous night's incident, making her feel uneasy, but he only asks if she paid the driver. As she gets home, she opens the book that says, you'll spend time with your loved one, it's going to get hot. However, she doesn't believe in it and discards it. The next day, Si Young Jae arrives at So Young's house to pick her up. She is surprised to see him inviting her with a smile. At work, she reads the book and learns that the person she loves is right behind her. Just then, Si Young Jae calls her from behind, scaring the life out of her. As a result, So Young leaves the book and runs away. Shortly after, Si Young Jae opens the book and reads that he has already fallen in love. Later, So Young is so lost in her thoughts that she forgets about the gas, resulting in a fire. Scared, she screams for help, and Si Young Jae rushes into the room. He attempts to extinguish the fire, but instead falls unconscious. Soon after, the ambulance arrives, and So Young begs Anna to let her go with Si Young Jae. In the following scene, So Young is waiting for Si Young Jae in the hospital. As she is alone, she remembers all the phrases from the book and realizes that everything she read was true. A little while later, Si Young Jae exits the ward, and So Jung apologizes to him, claiming that it was her fault. Si Young Jae consoles her and reveals that what he previously confessed was true. Just then, Anna interrupts them and offers them a ride home, but So Young chooses to walk. Soon, she reaches the restaurant where her co-workers inquire about their boss. Because Se Young Jae's proposal occupies So Young's mind, she shares it with her colleagues. The Young Oh isn't surprised because he already knew that their boss liked her. However, So Young is angry because Se Young Jae is dating Anna, and that is cheating on her, and that is unacceptable. Hearing this, Byung Ho reveals that Anna is his twin sister, not his lover. It turns out that So Young assumed they were lovers, as the two were very close all the time. One night, Si Young Jae drops So Young home, and as he drives away, he notices a man approaching her. He looks back, only to discover Bi Young Ho waking up in his back seat. Si Young Jae inquires if he saw anything, to which he responds that he's fully aware of his feelings for So Young. Later at home, So Young opens the book and reads that she should take her time. The next morning, Si Young Jae is waiting for So Young at the restaurant, and as soon as she arrives, he asks if she wants to date him or not. So Young says that she needs more time to think, which makes him even more agitated. The following day, So Young is approached by Anna, who reveals that Si Young Jae sacrificed a job offer in Japan because he didn't want to leave So Young. Later, Anna offers So Young the opportunity to study desserts in Japan, but the latter declines due to her sick mother. She opens the book in search of an answer, but this time, all the pages are empty. In the next scene, a Japanese representative arrives at the restaurant, and Si Young Jae requests that So Young serve him some of the desserts she prepared. The representative is impressed by her desserts, so he hands over the acceptance letter. 
However, So Young shares her decision to not fly abroad and walks out. Soon after, she hears thunder and recalls the elderly lady who gave her the book. She rushes back to the restaurant, but fails to find the book. When she inquires about the book, Seung Jae informs her that an elderly woman came in and took it back. As the days pass by, So Young becomes depressed and gloomy. One day, her depression causes her to ruin a customer's cake. Thankfully, Seung Young Jae arrives and apologizes to the customer on her behalf. Following this, he drags her outside to talk to her privately. During the conversation, she confesses her love for him and claims that it's complicating her life. She also claims that she doesn't want him to see her as a hopeless person, so she decides to resign. Hearing this, Si Young Jae stops her and decides to fly to Japan himself so that she can work comfortably. In the evening, Si Young Jae drinks with Bi Young Ho and recalls the time he photographed So Young while she was inebriated. Bi Young Ho is baffled as to why they are complicating their love. The next day, Si Young Jae departs for Japan, and So Young appears to be saddened by his departure. Six months pass by, and one day, Anna informs Byung-ho that Si Young Jae has returned, but he won't come to the restaurant. So Young overhears this and realizes that Si Young Jae isn't coming to the restaurant because of her. So, she decides to resign. As she is packing, she comes across Si Young Jae's photo, and when she takes it out, she discovers her own photo beneath it, making her feel loved. After this, she hands over her resignation letter to Byung-ho, and he refuses to accept it. As a result, she goes to Si Young Jae's house and slips the resignation letter beneath the door. The next morning, So Jung notices the same book in her bicycle basket. She opens the book, prompting her to dash to the restaurant. Upon reaching there, she discovers Si Young Jae waiting for her. He asks if she still finds it uncomfortable to look at him. However, this time, she gives him a cute smile, and as a result, he pulls her and hugs her. It's revealed that Si Young Jae created a book that is identical to the one that So Young used to read. One of its pages features a photograph of So Young with the caption, Yes, I'm in love.